And let's go back to Harare now. I understand we have uh, managed to get hold of Effort Musakiwe, who is our SABC News correspondent. Uh, Effort, what's the latest? We were expecting the president to speak, uh, but apparently not. Well, uh, we've just been informed as we were online that uh, we, uh, we have to go back to state house and the president will address us very shortly. So that's the latest. Uh, we've been called back. Uh, the media has been called back for another for the president to speak to the media. Okay, so you had left, but you've been called back, and we will see if we can take that address live. What is the president expected to say? Well, uh, we have not been given the brief as to what uh, subject matter he will touch on. What we've just been informed that it's it's going to be a statement to the media. We are going to address the nation, but we anticipate that is going to address some of the issues that have arisen I mean, the fallout with uh, Sadak and his party, as well as probably the potential uh, uh, outcome uh, of the results, which are imminent uh, in time from now. Mm. Any sense of how the presidential race is looking? Uh, we've received reports that ZANU-PF is in the lead in terms of uh, lawmakers in parliament. Any news on the presidential race? Well, we haven't had any official confirmed uh, report uh, for the presidential poll, uh, but what we do know, or what we have gathered from the uh, uh, B11, you know, these forms that are posted outside polling stations, is that uh, there are quite a number of constituencies where the parliamentary candidate for ZANU-PF who has a very big winning margin, but the winning margin for the president, uh, with uh, President Menachem Mnangagwa, it's very small. So there's been these variances where people opted to vote for the uh, uh parliamentary candidates, but for the president, the vote would go to the opposition, the chief of the or some channels. So really, we don't know the outcome. We are still tabulating. What I can confirm is that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission has actually issued a statement where it has invited the chief polling agents of all presidential candidates to come and witness. Uh, the validation or the uh, collection of uh, the presidential ballot, which means immediately after they have concluded that, we expect an announcement to be made thereafter. All right, and if those voting patterns uh, play out, uh, then surely the presidential race is wide open. If at final question, I guess we will see tonight what the president's stance is going to be in light of even SADC observers being heavily critical, uh, critical and saying that the, the credibility of this entire poll is in doubt. Well, uh, we do ex uh, expect him as the president probably is going to be more diplomatic and not be as had hitting as his party uh, pronounced itself. I'm sure the president is going to say he's, consult, he's going to consult his fellow Sadat compatriots before he can make a, a pronouncement. So I don't expect him to be as um, you know uh, as hard hitting as his uh, party spokesperson uh, be because I don't think protocol uh, would allow him to uh, you know to criticize a fellow uh, institution or a, uh, one of the the institution, the institution that we uh, regard highly as um, a, a regional body. All right, uh, we wait and see. Thank you very much, SABC News correspondent Effort Musekiwa.